You know, I grew up in Winnipeg where I think we had some, some of the most amazing radio in all of North America at the time. Right? It was the late 70s and we had some amazing personalities and FM was sort of just getting started back then. Um, it seemed like there was no rules, no holds barred. So we'd get these crazy personalities on the air that were, that were doing outlandish and outrageous things. And I thought, I want to do that. You know, I don't want to be, I don't want to be stuck in a cubicle pushing a pen for the rest of my life. I, I want to meet rock stars and I want to meet girls and I want to get paid for it. So I thought radio would be the perfect thing, right? And um, I just started to, to call the personalities. You know, I'd call the, the request lines late at night and get to know the all night guys. And, you know, I remember going to high school and I would cut out the middle of my textbooks, all the pages, and I'd stick a transistor radio in there and I'd run a, a earbud up my sleeve and I'd sit in school like this, listening to radio all day long when I should have been listening to what the teachers were saying. I just couldn't, couldn't get away with it or couldn't get away from it. So when I, uh, when I was going through high school and my mom and dad were pounding me saying, what are you going to do for a living? I said, well, this is what I love. There's got to be a way into this because this is what I really love. So it kind of went from there. You know, it was outrageous personalities that got me, got me hooked.